You have just presented the red shoes here at the Termal Hotel at the Grand Hall. Why do you think there's been so much excitement about the restored version of the film? The restored version of the red shoes is so beautiful and vivid. There's so much more detail and gorgeous color that people are stunned by it. But I have a feeling after introducing it all around the world that one of the reasons it's been so successful is because people are seeing it on the big screen the way it should be seen. Because these films were made before television came along. They were not meant to be seen on a small screen. They were meant to be on a big one and to be shared with people. And I think uh, that's one of the reasons it's uh, been so successful is people are enjoying sharing it and seeing it properly. What role did Martin Scorsese play in the restoration? And in general, what role does he play in preserving your late husband's reputation, I guess, as a filmmaker? Martin Scorsese has been more responsible than almost anyone for restoring the reputation of Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. The British Film Institute had begun the work after they had been forgotten about for a while. But uh, Scorsese, with his high profile and ability to speak to young people, was able to bring the films back to the world in a wonderful way. So I would say he's been the most important person in the resurrection of the whole canon. And when I told him that these films were in trouble, that the original negatives were in trouble, and that there was mold growing on them, and uh, he got very upset and said, well, we have to restore them. And so he committed himself to raising the money for uh, this restoration, which came from the Hollywood Foreign Press, the Louis B. Mayer Foundation, and his own film foundation, which he started many years ago when he realized films needed to be rescued. And the film foundation has done wonderful work. And this is their latest uh, triumph. <laughs> you have worked with Martin Scorsese for several decades now. What do you think is the secret of the success of your collaboration? I think it's partially that we're different. Uh, he's very emotional. I'm very even. Um, it's a good mixture. And uh, I think he trusts me to help him get his vision up on the screen. He knows that I will do the best for his footage. And I will work closely with him to make sure he gets what he wants. And so I think all great artists need a lot of support. And I am very happy to be one of those who supports him. <laughs> We're old friends, you know. We've known each other 40 years, <laughs> if you can imagine that. Of all the films that you've made together, is there any one scene or sequence that you are particularly proud of? That's a hard one. I, I can't say one scene. I think if, if I'm forced to choose, I, I usually choose Raging Bull uh, as the film that was the most stunning for me to work on because it was pure gold from the first day of dailies. <laughs> the direction, the camera work, the acting, wonderful acting, the sound work, the music is just so amazing. So when people ask me which is my favorite, that's the one I say. I, I don't know if I can pick one scene that I feel uh, is my all-time favorite. There are too many I love. <laughs> Scorsese is currently working on the invention of Hugo Cabaret, which will be in 3D. 3D is becoming a common format now. What does that mean for people like yourself who are editors? It is a big learning curve. You have to learn quite a bit, and um, you have to have machinery that allows you to work. You, you cut in 2D, actually, and you keep checking what it looks like in 3D, and then you have to screen to make sure that uh, you're not doing anything that causes uh, problems for the audience. So it, it is a big learning curve. I'm just learning now. We've just had our first week of shooting, so I will know a lot more in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Otherwise, can you tell us anything about this new project? I understand there's quite a str there are quite a few British actors in the cast. Yes, there are. There's a wonderful cast. Uh, and uh, Sasha Baron Cohen is in it. Uh, Sir Ben Kingsley playing George Méliès, the, the great uh, French filmmaker, silent filmmaker who was the first person to experiment with visual mm -hmm. effects. And we will be able to celebrate the silent film and the work of George Méliès in this movie along with the other things that are going on because it is a children's film. Uh, but it, it will appeal to everybody. It will appeal to Scorsese fans and children and families, and which will be nice. I think that's great about it.